a lot of people are actually wondering about this lineup. Yeah. And why no Jason Castro? Why is Calvin back? Can Kiefer handle the pressure? Oh, well, I'm sure he can. But you know who I know who really knows about this? Oh. Carlo Pamentuan, because oh. he spoke to uh, Coach Trot Reyes about this final uh, 12 lineup. And he's there in Melbourne. Thanks for having me, Gino and Leah. The biggest news in the announcement of Coach Trot Reyes about the final lineup of Guidelas Filipinas is that Jason Castro will not be seeing action against the Australians. Coach Trot said that he does not think Jason Castro's ankle is ready to compete in such a high intensity ball game because he injured it a few games back in the PBA against the Phoenix Field Masters. Another player who will not be seeing action is Gio Halalo, who will also has a nagging leg injury. So that means Gilas Pilipinas is left with only two pure point guards in Kevin Alas and Kiefer Ravenna. And as Coach Trot said, Kiefer will be starting that ball game against the Boomers. This might also mean that Gabe Norwood will see a bit of time at the point guard position to help out in case there are any problems for Ravenna and Alas. Uh, another bit of news was that Calvin Abueva was given the opportunity to come back into the lineup. As we all remember, he missed the first few practices of Gilas, but Coach Shot Reyes gave him another opportunity. Here are his thoughts about the beast. We did drop him from the second window. But I've always said even then that he is still part of the pool. After that period, he called uh, to explain why he, he wasn't able to attend the first three practices. Uh, since then, he never missed any practice. He, he did whatever we asked of him, whether it's as practice player or member of the scouting team. Uh, Mark Bello and Troy Rosario came down with injuries. And, you know, that opened uh, the, the door for, for Calvin's return. The head coach of Australia said that their preparations for Gilas Pilipinas centered around stopping Andre Blatch and Jason Castro. And with the blur not seeing action for this game, that means that that's a big problem averted for the Boomers. For Gilas Pilipinas on the other end, we will have to look for our points elsewhere. Everyone will have to chip in some more as it's difficult to provide the kind of impact that Jason Castro gives the team on a regular basis.